So in terms of cost, what would we be looking at as far as a total installed system, this versus what you might see from Tesla? We are compatible with many inverters. Basically, if there's an inverter that you prefer, you can set it up with the Extreme LV. Two-person team can do the installation as opposed to having to roll more, more technicians. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordi here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming to you from Inner Solar Europe. This is the largest solar conference in Europe here in Munich, Germany. And this afternoon I'm joined by Pablo Vial uh, from Renan Power, and we're gonna be looking at the Renan Extreme LV. So Pablo, good to see you again. Thanks good for joining us well. this afternoon. Yeah, thanks for having me, Joe. All right. Well, you know, part of the reason that we're here at InterSolar Europe, this is actually our first time coming to the European Solar Conference, is because as the US solar and storage market develops, many of the successful international solar and storage providers are going to be entering the US market or have just recently entered the US market. Uh, and of course, those of you who've been following the channel for a while, um, I know I've been covering batteries pretty much the entire time solar surge has existed. But the truth of the matter is, is that the US storage market is probably 10 years behind Europe and the rest of the world because we, we've had these great net metering programs in a lot of the US so you didn't really have to install battery storage. You, you could get a good payback on your solar by just dumping all your extra solar to the power company and collecting the net metering credit, or what they call here, they call the feed-in tariff. But basically the power company would pay you to take your excess solar. You didn't have to store it in a battery. But Pablo, of course, you know now that you know, the way things are going in the States, we're going away from one-for-one -one net metering programs. You know, California in particular with their, their so-called NEM 3.0. But you know, we know other states are going to be following suit, where they're not going to pay you a really gr good rate for dumping your excess solar, which means pretty much everything is going to be going to battery storage. That's right. right? And yeah. so, and it's already like that here in Europe and a lot of the rest of the world, and it's probably going to be like that in the U.S. soon. And so, of course, many consumers as well as many solar installers are now considering out there, so what should be my offering when it comes to solar with battery storage? Now, today I know we're looking at the Extreme LV which is the, the low, low voltage or the 48 volt nominal voltage solution. And it's a modular stackable solution as well. So why don't you just kind of walk us through the basics. What does the audience need to know about the Extreme LV? Definitely. Yep, so hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Extreme LV. This is a, a, a modular setup and you can start with three uh, stacks here. Each one has about five kilowatt hours of storage capacity. Uh, and like you said, it's 48 volt setup. But uh, the nice thing about this is you can start small and scale up. So you can uh, do that in the future and it's a very easy upgrade. So, so the piece that uh, I really enjoy about this is, is it comes in very cost effective. In addition to the power output is great and you can scale this up big time, extreme. So uh, right here you can see a three stack setup with the battery uh, management system here. And uh, this can go up to an eight stack. And then on top of that, you can parallel 15 of these in a row. So we're talking about quite a bit of capacity. I don't think anybody would, would choose to do uh, 15 in, 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 in a parallel, but, uh, but it, it is optional if, if that's something you want to do. There are some use cases where some people are utilizing this, this setup in a CNI setup, um, you know, in, in Puerto Rico and other areas. Um, so that's a pretty cool functionality, but at the same time we have other offerings that might be more efficient uh, for that focus. Uh, we pair this thing with uh, the Solark 15K uh, in the United States, but we are compatible with many inverters. Basically, if there's an inverter that you prefer, you can set it up with the Extreme LV. Yeah, the nice thing about the Solark 15K in particular is that it has that integrated 200 amp transfer switch. So for those of you who are looking for a whole house backup or a whole house self-consumption solution, with that Solark 15K, you're gonna be able to get 15K of, of power output uh, on, a, on a whole house backup type configuration. Now, Pablo, you said each of these modules, is it, is it five kilowatt hours? Yeah, it's a little over five, 5.12 kilowatt 5 hours. Yep. Okay. And you can stack up to eight per, per controller yep. or, or per BMS? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So uh, you can do up to eight. So 40 kilowatt hour, a little over 40 kilowatt hours. So um, in most cases, when you're comparing it to some of the big players, uh, you know, you're going to need a lot of individual battery packs to do something like that. And the costs will go up a lot. So... Uh, putting this in one one stack makes it very easy. It takes up a very small footprint. It's uh, a lot more narrow than a lot of the competition, uh, and uh, it's pretty appealing too. It's got a screen on the front, and obviously you have the app interface to 
where you can manage everything on your own remotely if that's what you want to do. So Pablo, I noticed one of the things that's on here is your, your total throughput energy. So this is kind of like your lifetime cycle usage on the battery? That's right, so it's your odometer and uh, a lot of people don't really consider this. So uh, if you've had a battery installed on your home or on your business um, and you're wondering what your cycle count is, uh, good luck because most manufacturers aren't going to tell you that in the future. And actually today there are VPPs that are opening up and and so, um, I mean, I think a lot of your, your viewers know what VPPs are, but uh, I don't know if you want yeah. to maybe describe that. Yeah, just... absolutely. In fact, I, w I met with the gentleman here uh, here in Germany earlier explaining that the, the virtual power plant programs are active here in Germany as well. But, but essentially what this means is that, you know, you can utilize your battery to, under certain conditions, discharge energy that you've stored into the electric grid. And then depending on the time, they may pay you a premium price for the energy that you have in your battery, because frankly, it's cheaper for the grid than having to fire up a peaker plant or, or to pull that power from somewhere else. If the grid's under heavy demand and you have energy in your battery, a VPP program allows you to, to tap in and monetize that, and you're helping stabilize the grid for your neighbors in the process. And of course, we're seeing this in California now. We're seeing it in Massachusetts, uh, in Utah, I believe, also. Texas, it's opening yeah. up where I'm from, yeah. So, so you are probably going to see people that, that are going to cycle their batteries more than once a day if, if they're trying to optimize on these VPP programs. Correct. And uh, outside of that, there's also demand response programs. And so that's uh, a conversational piece that um, not many people know about. Uh, I think the, the, the people that are aware of it, they think about maybe the, the thermostat in their house where uh, you choose, hey, maybe I'll get a credit to to have uh, my, my battery or thermostat in that case interact with the grid and during peak demand, uh, maybe they'll throttle your thermostat a little bit, which I participated in one of those before and it's not my favorite. Now on a battery, it's a little different, right? Because um, you know, we wanna lower the, the, the requirement to the grid uh, and the, the need to, to, to in, input uh, power, but uh, at the same time, it uh, allows you to monetize and um, you know, make it an overall better experience. Yeah, and, and my understanding is that you can also set the limits for how much of your battery you're going to allow the VPP to use. That's right. So, for example, let's say you have a, a 40 kilowatt hour stack, you may only allow half of that to be used for VPP, so you still have minimum 20 kilowatt hours of emergency backup you Correct. Know, if you need yeah. it. And that's obviously dependent on the functionalities that your inverter allow, but uh, many of the inverters today are, are um, allowing you to set those parameters. So. Great, great. Now, Pablo, I know the configuration that we're looking at here is, is, a, is approximately 15 kilowatt hour storage. Frankly, I know a lot of the, the viewers out there, a lot of the installers are gonna be comparing this kind of configuration to like a Tesla Powerwall type configuration. So in terms of cost, because I know that's a lot of folks out there are gonna ask, well, how much does this cost? And you know, vis-a-vis -vis the competition. So in terms of cost, what would we be looking at as far as a total installed system, this versus what you might see from Tesla? Sure, so if we're talking about Tesla, and uh, I've had plenty of experience with Tesla, I've, I uh, used to be in the installation business before, and uh, so I can tell you this competitively is coming in around 20 to 30% cheaper. Uh, that includes the inverter, which we're not really showcasing here. We are in Europe, and we actually do provide our own uh, inverter in the European market, but in the U.S., we focus on, on uh, partnering with, with inverters like Solark. So, yeah, we're coming in very aggressive on the price point, and I think that's going to be appealing, especially when you're talking about the things that everybody's talking about today, the tariffs and the prices of consumer goods going up and uh, yeah, so I think that's a, it's an important piece for us. Yeah, well speaking of Solark, as you know, Solark is a, is a Texas-based company as well. I believe they're in Plano, but Dallas area. They're in Allen, yeah, they used to be in Plano, okay, yeah, so, which is right next door. So, so Dallas area, and I understand you're going to be opening up manufacturing in the, in the Dallas area as well, right? That's right, so um, you know, in order to avoid tariffs in the future or even this conversation, which is hot on everybody's minds, we're going to be having our, our uh, assembly plant in in uh, Texas, in McKinney, Texas. We actually just qualified for a grant. Uh, it's not a tax incentive, it's a cash grant, so it's very exciting. And um, so we decided to set up shop right next to our biggest partner in the US, which is Solark, and that allows us to, to pair these batteries with, uh, in our opinion, one of the best inverters in the space and, uh, and, and others too, but uh, having the locations very close makes it very uh, affordable and an efficient way to, to ship products. That's great. That's great. So, so then by year end, could we say this, this is going to be a made in USA product for the US market? Correct. Yeah, that's the goal. Uh, we are very, very close to, to securing the, the final uh, lease agreement. So um, I, I'm hoping that actually comes in today and we can sign and 
quit talking about what's going to happen. But, uh, but yeah, so the target would be to start assembling uh, our batteries before the end of the year with the, with the target of between one and a half and two and a half uh, gigawatt hours of capacity. That's great. Uh, and of course, if and when that facility goes online, we, in, we intend to have coverage uh, down there. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the, the channel. We'll have more coming out about Renan's domestic manufacturing as that you know, ramps up and comes online. That's right. Now, I guess one thing I should mention about this, Pablo, is you know, the nice thing about this modular stackable design for installers is that you, know, you don't have any one piece of equipment that weighs more than, what, about 120 pounds? Yeah, they're, they're a lot lighter, so really you only need two people. And um, you can see there's you carry handles on here. Yeah, there's handles on the side. And actually, when it's uh, completely installed, there's covers that cover that. So it's a little cleaner looking aesthetically. But, uh, but yeah, so it's very simple. You just need two guys. I've seen one guy do it, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know, that, that is a big issue for installers out there is, you know, having a, a modular system where, where a two-person team can do the installation as opposed to having to roll more, more technicians and sometimes with specialized heavy lift equipment. That's right. You know, logistically that can do a lot to, to make the installation ultimately more costly and more risky for the installer. And I know that's one issue that installers are dealing with is how do we de-risk, how do we de-risk solar and storage installations to the, to the point that solar only grid tied systems were in the past. Because again, now we're kind of all forced, we have to deal with batteries now, but batteries can, can it, uh, introduce more complexity if you don't handle it properly. That's right. Yeah, we're not in the business of selling mounting equipment and lifting equipment. We're, we're in the business of selling uh, very cost effective batteries that uh, are going to power you in the event of an outage uh, or in the event of a VPP or, or uh, you know, if you want to game the grid, this is an excellent solution for that as well. Great, great. Uh, so Pablo, you, if you're an installer out there wanting to get hands on your product, where, where would they go? Where can they buy it today? Yeah, so we're hitting all of the major distribution networks, um, ABC Supply, CED Green Tech, and many of the others as well. So uh, installers, if you want to have, um, you want to find out where you can get this thing, you can reach out to us. You can reach out to your local distribution network and uh, yeah, they'll get you set up and uh, everybody's uh, placing orders now and uh, this thing is readily available. We uh, are currently at very, uh, co very good price point. Um, you know, we, we actually stocked up before all this tariff uh, conversation happened. So if you want to get the Extreme LV, it's ready to go today. And uh, I think it's going to be hard to beat the, the, the price for this bad boy. All right. All right. Well, folks, this has been an introduction to the Renan Power Extreme LV, which of course stands for low voltage. So it's a, it's a 48 volt nominal system. So you compare it with the Solark 15K uh, or other 48 volt nominal inverter systems. Uh, Pablo, anything else that the audience should know about Renan Power or about the Extreme LV in particular? Yeah, so uh, just a couple of the points that I like to focus on with uh, this setup is uh, one, you're going to have more capacity. I mean, right away, like you said, with the Powerwall 3, the setup about 13 and a half uh, kilowatt hours. Um, the output for this is limited to the inverter. So because we have 15 kilowatt hours here, it's got, um, you know, our, with our setup, about 15.4 kilowatt output. Uh, and then of course, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, going to be a, a very nice and affordable setup for you. Modular, uh, it looks pretty nice too. And of course, it's all, lith all lithium iron phosphate cells. Right? LFP is all we focus on, uh, going to be made in America before the end of the year. And on that note, actually, our company is uh, veteran owned. So uh, it's an American company. We hire American employees and uh, it's veteran owned and operated. I'm one of the couple non-veterans, but uh, if you want to talk to a veteran, just give us a call and the person that answers is most likely going to be uh, ex-military of some sort. Great. Great. You know, that, that's that's important, too, because I do think that's a big part of kind of a, the, the culture with solar and batteries, especially in Texas. That's right. And um, I think this is a, an excellent solution. Again, solar with energy storage, you know, not just for emergency backup power now, but really for, for true energy independence, being able to, whether it's taking advantage of a virtual power plant program uh, or just wanting to self-consume as much of your solar energy as possible and not have to worry about having to try to buy and sell back and forth with the power company if they keep changing the rates on you anyway. With a solar and storage system sized properly, like for example with a Solark 15K inverter and maybe 20 to 30 kilowatt hours of storage, you could potentially be in a position where you, you are your own power plant and you only, you only use the power company as the, the energy provider of last resort. And I think you're going to see a lot more people going that way now that the technology is here and it's becoming more affordable. Certainly. Yeah, the prices of electricity is going up across the board. So yep. uh, this is a great way to, to lower that and, and, and keep your life more affordable so you can spend money on your family, your kids.
yep. and all the fun stuff. Yeah, and again, you know, here here in Germany, they're already seeing that. You know, the gentleman I spoke to this morning said they're already paying 30 to 40 cents per kilowatt hour for energy. Wow. In the U.S., particularly in places like Texas, we're not we're not there. We're maybe halfway there. Right. Not to say that we want to get there, but as energy prices increase. The, the ROI, the payback, the case for, for becoming your own power plant just becomes more compelling. That's right. Yep. So, so folks, this has been a quick chat with Pablo Vial from Renin Power, looking at the Renin Extreme LV. Uh, folks, of course, if you're getting good value from these videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your recommendations and you can stay up to date with everything. But that pretty much does it for today's presentation. Pablo, thanks for spending some more time with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Joe. I appreciate it. And until next time, as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.